Hello, it is Dr. Molly Hart here. And I wanted to share a video today with you guys um, in regards to exercise actually. But hear me out. There's something that I found over and over and over and over again with our culture and our society that's a massive lack of um, education and understanding just about the human body in general. And it leads to so much suffering that it breaks my heart every time I hear people explain what they think exercise is, what they think um, it actually helps with or the purpose behind it and a lack of understanding of, of why it's so important for our human body to have exercise. So, so what do I mean by this? Um, recently, right before, right around when I got pregnant, for instance, I started having shoulder pain on my right side and it was because I wasn't working out quite as frequently. And then I went and did a workout with a friend and way overdid my exercise. And then I flared my shoulder and started bothering me. And then I stopped working out as much, not because of my shoulder, but just because I was pregnant, life got busy, I was tired. And then my shoulder pain got worse and worse and worse. Well, when I talked to even other healthcare providers and other people, their theories are like, oh, it's because you're pregnant or, oh, it's because you've got restrictions in the shoulder. So I tried a couple different, um, what I call passive treatment strategies. So passive treatment strategy is going to be where somebody does something to you, such as massage, such as myofascial release, such as acupuncture, um, even chiropractic care. These are things where you're getting passive treatment, treatment done to you. And I will be honest, they helped a little bit, but not really, nothing really took care of it. But you want to know what actually completely got rid of the pain was exercise. So once I started working out at Orange Theory, which by the way, I had to join Orange Theory because I could not get my butt in the gym. I did not want to work out. Still to this day, I, my husband and I don't want to go work out. Every time before our class starts, we're like, oh, darn it, we have to go. So I understand that working out isn't the, the most fun thing in the world. Now, once I'm there, I like it. But my point is, when I started working out, I would do what I could with my right shoulder. I couldn't do certain exercises with it. I would just edge the discomfort, just edge it. So I would challenge myself just enough to where I felt like I was working it, but I wasn't overdoing it. And probably within about two months of doing this, no more shoulder pain, completely gone. And I, like I said, I tried other passive treatments, but we know from the research and I know clinically that the only way to really heal pain is to do active treatment. You have to take an active role and exercise is hands down one of the most important ways that we can calm pain. Let me give you another example. My Nana was having a lot of knee pain, tons and tons, and she still does taking all these shots and, you know, turmeric and all the things that people do, all these passive things. And it really wasn't helping much. So I gave, I, advised that she get this little pedal bike machine that she could put on the floor and just use it a little bit, don't overdo it, or you're gonna flare yourself. First day she got it, she overdid it. She did, I don't remember how long she did, but she overdid it and hurt herself. So exercise, if you overdo exercise, it will hurt you. You will flare your pain. So exercise is good, but you have to do it within a, a tolerance that your body can actually handle. Now, once she started doing it appropriate, it has helped her significantly with her knee pain. Okay, so that's another example. Um, I have a friend that I used to um, live with. Her father was in chronic pain in a wheelchair, in a wheelchair from the opioids that he was on. Hey, Patty, how are you? And he, a lot of stuff happened in life and he ended up tapering off of his opioids. He was on the highest dose in a wheelchair, couldn't walk and started exercising, started eating better. He then became a bodybuilder and competed in competitions. That is how, like not only did he get himself out of pain with, with movement and exercise, but he also was able to completely get his life back and started competing in competitions. That's how extreme he took it, for instance. But exercise is a non-negotiable, it, it truly is. So all of the people I know in my life, I don't care how old they are, they can be in their 20s, they can be in their 30s, list it, whatever age, when they don't exercise and they kind of make excuses about it and they laugh about it, you can laugh about it all you want, 
but in all reality, you're going to cause yourself immense pain and suffering. And I can't emphasize enough the amount of suffering I see my patients go through every single day because of the fact that the body got out of balance, it wasn't strong, and then they hurt themselves. And let me tell you, it takes so much time to heal from, from pain, from chronic pain. The body can literally be destroyed like that. It, it can be destroyed so quickly, just like I can destroy a building, just like that. Think about how long it takes to build anything, to build a building and to build, to build a human life. It takes my body 10 months. Our bodies, unfortunately, they don't rehab quickly. So in order to keep ourselves protected, if we stay strong and we exercise, we can prevent so much suffering in our life. And it's not just yourself that you're preventing. Like if you're a woman and you are a mom, and imagine that you can't go and play with your kids anymore, or you can't go for a walk with them, or you can't go to amusement parks with them anymore. Or imagine that you can't go on vacations because you can't sit for long term because your back hurts. Like this is what I see every day with my patients. And I'll tell you all the number one thing that you guys can do to prevent all of these, this suffering is to make sure you're exercising every single week. And when I say exercise, that is not just doing running and not just even doing yoga. Actually, the most important exercise in the, that you possibly should do is strength training, is resistance training. Yoga is phenomenal, but what's actually even more important than yoga is doing strength training. Running and doing cardio is really important, but what's more important is strength training. I know this, I'm telling you guys this from, from clinical experience. So even if you only get to the gym one time a week, but you're doing some form of strength training, that's phenomenal. So we just wanna make sure we keep our body healthy, we keep our body moving, and we never neglect that movement part of us because if we don't move, we will have pain. We absolutely will have suffering occur in some form or another. It is a guarantee in life. Hey Heidi, how are you? So I, I just wanna protect, I wish so badly I could get people to understand this concept more because I hate seeing people suffer. I just hate it. And I know that if we could all find a way to get encouraged to move, that we could prevent so much of this um, from occurring. And if you're struggling with getting to the gym, trust me, I hear you. Find something that's gonna motivate you. Maybe you need to join and have a personal trainer. Maybe you need to join something like Orange Theory and don't do it too intensely, but at least it'll hold you accountable. Find a partner who can hold you accountable. Do whatever you need to do. Join a program. Pay for something that maybe will hold you accountable because it will save you thousands upon thousands of dollars in healthcare bills. Because if we don't exercise, trust me, you're gonna spend thousands of dollars on healthcare to, to try to rehab the body back to where you want it to be so you can function and live life and have a high quality of life. So um, that's it, that's my message. I know that was a long rant, um, but I just, I had to get that out there because I've noticed so much more lately just this disconnect with us and understanding exercise and the importance of it and thinking that we can get away with all these other passive types of strategies to, to heal our body. It, it just simply doesn't work. I know that clinically, I know that via, via the research, we, nothing replaces exercise and movement. So, all right guys, hope you all have a beautiful weekend and hopefully you guys get some beautiful movement for your bodies. Okay, bye, thanks for listening everybody.